On June 20th, 2015, officers from the UK Trading Services converged on a mansion in Farnham, Surrey. There they confronted members of the Genesis 2 cult, even going so far as to kick in the door. The home was currently occupied by a woman long suspected of selling bleach products being used in dangerous alternative treatments. Shortly afterwards, she and her husband fled to Mexico and later to Belize to operate clinics specializing in the dangerous and highly illegal alternative practices barred by most Western cultures. And in the process of this particular woman's career of peddling quack cures, a trail of bodies and a string of suspicious businesses was left in her wake. I would like to introduce to you today this woman. Her name is Amanda Mary Jewel. Amanda Mary has quite a colorful past. She's been known as different names throughout the years. Amanda Heath, Amanda Herzog, Rosemary. And while there's a lot of things I couldn't necessarily corroborate as of the time of this recording, especially regarding her tendency for scam artistry, there is one relic of her past that is uh, rather confirmed and quite well known. Anyway, before we get into the more contemporary values of her career as a healer, let's look at how she herself describes her journey into cancer research. Now, the story of Amanda Mary's beginnings uh, is kind of hard to track down because it changes from time to time. Uh, for instance, on Mother Nature and You.com, uh, my journey back from cancer, and this one is a long babbling story all about her and her multitude of children uh that her adopted children a lot of a lot of interesting backstory on that according to her ex-husband but basically to try and sum up all of this uh she got breast cancer had to have both both of her breasts removed got big old fake implant boobies and then apparently the cancer got into her womb she had to have a full hysterectomy all this terrible stuff happened on and on and on and on copious amounts uh oh yeah uh she had to get a part of her colon replaced with that of a pig it goes into very explicit detail um about uh, farting uh for instance right here we've got new pig colon in place farting was like you would not believe but with no poop bag yes all was good again Doug, my husband, soon started to complain about my snoring. As you know, a lady does not snore. I just blame the snoring on the pig colon. Ah, okay. That's, uh, <laughs> that's fine. But she was still sick. All these horrible things kept coming up. But this is the part that's the most interesting. You see, Doug cooked all good foods, served me horrid teas, nasty food and juices, made me drink sodium chloride. And this is before Jim Humble found it for cancer. And Doug gave, Doug gave me bitter apricot kernels and a whole array of other nasty stuff. This is on and on and on and on. And apparently during this time, she was studying things like the human body, botany, nutrition, coronary and cancer, but prayed for more time to study. I prayed that I might lay in bed and study more. My wish was granted <laughs> as I suffered a horrific accident on a zip wire. I broke my feet, legs, and spine and had serious damage to my neck. I hit a rock at 120 kilometers an hour. Uh, okay. I was placed in traction at home and remember very little for six months. Well, why don't we take a look at this high-speed collision? Because there's video! <laughs> wow. Now call me crazy, but that doesn't really look like a 120 kilometers an hour collision. Does it? Does, does, let's, let's just take a look at that one more time. Now, 
Now, before we get into the various claims of medical quackery, I think it's important for us to understand just how much of an entrepreneur Amanda and Doug really were. You see, they had a huge interest in the country of Bulgaria. And in fact, the very first trail I could really pick up of her was posing as a lawyer back in 2006 in a Bulgarian forum claiming that she was a huge, huge investor in the country. Now, of course, she's not a lawyer. She's not actually qualified for anything that she claims, really. But she wasn't lying about one thing. She was 100% investing quite a bit of money into Bulgaria, but in very specific ways. You see, Amanda, Mary, and Doug started buying up a bunch of property, specifically at the ski resort of Pemperovo, which is located in the Rododope Mountains in Bulgaria. Now, there are quite a few other alleged properties that they possibly owned, uh, including one that was an orphanage, uh, children's summer camp, a lot of very strange random random ones. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to focus on one. In 2010, Amanda and Doug purchased the Pearl Lodge, a hotel. Now, this was supposed to become their base of operations. They were going to convert it into a series of apartments, a clinic, and at times it turns out to be a hospice. Now, before we really get further into the Pearl Lodge, and there's a lot there, let's look at some of their other activities they were doing in Pemperovo. Now, the same year that they bought that hotel, Doug also registered the domain PemperovoLive.bg, and what this was is a tourist website for the ski resort to basically promote it as a good spot for tourists, especially people traveling abroad. And this ended up being a very brilliant strategy for Doug because it also helped to promote their property management company, Pearl Property. However, as one digs through the archive of this website and really starts to go back in time, you start to find a little weird things popping up. For instance, uh, they offered a uh, children's summer camp, okay, uh, and, and these apparently involved, uh, these involved military games. Not that weird, sure, but if you scroll down to the bottom, uh, they offered a sniper school for children. Granted, sure, it's just with airsoft guns, but it's a little bizarre. Now, at this point, I should probably mention Doug's a little bit of a lunatic himself. He's done a really good job scrubbing most of his online history from the internet and even the archives. However, a few things that do remain in, in his digital footprint uh, point to him being in weird hangouts, talking about all sorts of weird conspiracy things. Not that big of a deal. But then there's this. Okay, so uh, here we are. We're um, outside the House of Parliament. This was from Doug's Truth and Freedom March, and by March I mean he strapped some boards to his chest, scribbled some things on it, and then wandered around babbling at people. He's a conspiracy wingnut. Here, just, just take a listen. And what have we got now? Look, we've got poisons flying over us all the time to suppress us, barium. Um, uh, the chemtrails. We have uh, constant immunization programs which are mainly filled with um, mercury and to, to some of them even nanochips which can control our thoughts and our DNA. And while that is pretty nutty, nothing really shows kind of how insane he is like Ark Survival. Now, this doesn't look like much, but this is all that remains of the archive from ArkSurvival.com, and this was a website designed at selling a premium service to people by Amanda and Doug, preparing for the end of the world. The solution. Finally, it has been predicted by some that large portion of the human race will wake up and start to once again use the right side of the brain connect with the nearly forgotten six, seven, eight, ninth senses, and so on. Connect with the universe. See beyond the matrix that we are all trapped in and reject the Sumerians, reptilian, controllers of the experience we are all in right now. Rejecting the order that has been put in place by the Sumerians over the last several thousand years. This would be interesting. The Ark Survive philosophy. We believe that the world as we know it is coming to an end. We are not convinced that it will be at the end of 2012. We believe it could be as late as 2016. However, we will not dismiss any of the well-known 
and less known predictions. Now all of that aside, we need to try and paint a picture of where Amanda Mary's wingnut beliefs come from, and her own cancer survival story, as probably bullshit as it is, really doesn't lend a lot of answers, but we do know that she was involved with the Genesis 2 cult, or rather, as I should call them, the Genesis 2 bleach cult. You see, <laughs> for those unfamiliar, this was started by a man named Jim Humble, and Jim Humble believed that Miracle Mineral Supplement, which is chlorine dioxide, an industrial bleach, uh, well, it can cure anything from HIV to autism. Now, I've spoken about MMS before in a video a long time ago, but more recently, uh, Miles Power, he did a fantastic, fantastic breakdown on the problems with MMS and how dangerous it actually is. So I would really suggest you go and watch his video on it. Now, in the future, I will, in fact, be looking very, very closely at the Genesis 2 cult. There's a whole lot there. Maybe even more than this crazy rabbit hole that I'm making a video about right now. Maybe. But in regards to Miracle Mineral Supplement, the magic bleach cure, does Amanda Mary believe in it? Well, that depends on when you ask. You see, back in 2010, her then-husband, Doug, uh, he registered the domain MMS.BG, and this was specifically created for the sale and promotion of Miracle Mineral Supplement. Uh, in fact, the archive for this website from 2013, it shows proven ways for MMS to get into the body. Number three, MMS retention enemas are effective in cleansing intestinal walls. They also cause CIO2 to be absorbed and mixed with the plasma of the blood, the blood liquid. MMS benefits are more available to more parts of the body more quickly when the CIO2 is carried in the plasma. And strangely, when we look at the archive of this website, we see that Amanda Mary claims that Doug, her husband, cured her cancer with Miracle Mineral Supplement after he discovered the work of Jim Baker, which is kind of odd because her current story about how everything got fixed in her body is, um wildly different. Doug cooked all good foods, served me horrid teas, nasty food and juices, made me drink sodium chloride. And this is before Jim Humble found it for cancer. Hmm. Oh, but wait, it gets better. Oh, see, uh, what, what's this? What's this at the bottom of this page? Signed Bishop Amanda Mary. Huh. Okay. So at least around 2013, she was a bishop in the bleach cult. Oh, but that's not all. You see, the Genesis 2 cult themselves, on their website, they tout that there's this restorative center in Bulgaria where miraculous healings are being done. But wait, there's more. Amanda Mary used to have an old YouTube channel called Bishop Mary. Hmm. And uh, it shows off this, uh, this restoration center in Bulgaria. And in this clip right here, right here, you can see a banner for the Genesis 2 cult. Interesting. Well, what is this restoration center? Why, it's the Pearl Lodge, of course. The hotel, by the way, is not used for holiday makers. It's purely a health and restoration center. Now, why am I hammering so hard on this? Why am I making it a point to really attach these two things? Well, that's partly because the Genesis 2 cult believes that rectally inserting an industrial bleach, usually through an enema bag, is one of the best ways to cure pretty much everything from autistic children to terminally ill cancer patients. I mean, after all, why exactly would Amanda Mary be so obsessed with bleaching a butthole? Oh. By the way, these are some people who went to the Pearl Lodge to get healed. I'm kind of wondering, um, how many of these people got bleach squirted up their butts by Amanda Mary? It's just a thought. But something kind of odd happened between 2013 and 2014. You see, Amanda Mary and Doug registered a new website called Mother Nature and You. And a lot of the stuff that was on MMS.BG got copied over onto Mother Nature and You. And in fact, as of January 5th, 2014, there was all sorts of, of supporting evidence that they say, hey, bleach enemas are great. Bleach enemas are A-OK. -okay. Here it is. Yeah, 
but then later that year it was scrubbed. But even after that was scrubbed, I just keep in mind, uh, they still sold such wonderful products like uh, a Black Salve um, and an HIV and AIDS kit that required an enema. Because why not? But why was the MMS bleach enema stuff pulled? Now, keep in mind, she was slinging this stuff pretty hardcore. I'd like to introduce you to some of our products that you see for sale on our shop site and the website. So here we have, as you can see, Mother Nature and You. This is our trademark. Um, this is HCL that you'll know as hydrochloric acid. Now this is used to activate the MMS. So when activating with HCL, what you'll find is you don't have the nausea or the diarrhea as you may have with the citric acid. That's kind of weird. I mean, it, you said on MMS.BG that nausea and diarrhea meant that the MMS is working. Strange. But seriously, why was MMS enemas just all of a sudden pulled off her website? Why did she suddenly not believe in them anymore? Uh, probably because she pissed off Archbishop and Supreme Leader of the Genesis 2 Bleach cult, uh, Jim Humble, I, for some reason. Amanda Mary in autism. I do not know and never have worked with Amanda Mary. I no longer consider Amanda Mary a part of our church. What she says, she says totally on her own and has no bearing on the beliefs or protocols of the church. Jim Humble, that's me, does not believe that enemas are bad or that autistic kids should not have enemas. There will always be exceptions to every rule. Normally when people in our church, the Genesis 2 Church of Health and Healing, issue an important change of protocol or technology, they send me a copy for my approval. It's a sort of a courtesy as I am the one who passes on all technology of the church after checking appropriate sources of data and various technical people and even doctors on our own people such as Andreas Klecker and other highly experienced bishops and ministers. But not Amanda Mary. She just issues what she decides she knows to be right and true and I have no say in it. But everyone considers her to be a part of the church so her statements of technology appear to have the weight of the church behind it. I don't feel that is fair, and no one else does that. Wow, some harsh words from the chief asshole bleacher himself. It is kind of odd, though. Maybe it's just uh, a lazy website maintenance that they still promote all these miracles that happen in their Bulgarian restoration clinic. I don't know, maybe. Now, from her own words, Amanda Mary herself says that she no longer supports bleach enemas. Well, she doesn't phrase it like that. She just says, I don't. Kind of leaves out that part where she did. But you know what? Good for her. Good for her. Because she's right. Bleach enemas are not a good idea. Surprise, surprise. But for the record, um, this is the last decent thing this woman will do. And we have a very, very long road ahead of us. Now, later that year in 2014, things uh, began to look a little sketchy at the Pearl Lodge. To make it simple, people were dying. Now, this isn't that much of a surprise because a lot of these people had terminal illnesses. So they were pretty much destined to die anyway. <sighs> However, keep in mind uh, this excerpt. This is from a translated Bulgarian website. Hotel near Smolyan works as an illegal medical center treating heavily ill foreigners. The site, located on the way to the Smolyan Lakes, is not registered for such activity, but there are already dozens of people suffering from cancer, palsies, and various skin diseases. The hospital is named Pearl Lodge and is owned by Englishman Amanda Mary Jane Herzog. For years, the lady has been doing a pretty successful business in the region, and if it were not for two of her countrymen's deaths within five days, it would not be understandable for a healthcare institution that advertise intensely alternative medical methods. At first glance, the Pearl House looks like an ordinary new hotel, except that the access to it has been forbidden. Not only journalists, but regional health inspectors who inspected the media were not allowed on Tuesday to cross the reception. And the fact that even the same day the publisher sites that led us to the illegal medical center were downloaded from internet showed that there was something wrong with the tourist site. In full mystery, the five-story building was sunk. A terrible smell swung through the slits of the doors and windows. A frightened employee greeted us with the words, I cannot let you go without permission. I have to ask. A hideous story about what's going on behind the thick walls of the building made a former hotel employee asking to remain anonymous at this point. 
At first, they did not develop such medical activities. They started to take ill in 2012. In the summer, they used the base as a medical center, and the winter for tourists. They were sick, mainly from cancer. I've seen people with leaks and very heavy skin diseases on the hands. My bosses explained that they came to treatment, although the hotel had no nurses and doctors. The man said the primary treatment was MMS. According to the former employee, Amanda and her husband Douglas were members of a European church for life-saving life. Now, sadly, I couldn't really find a whole lot more information on these people who died aside from, well, just that they were terminally ill. But there is some speculation that Amanda, Mary, and Doug were converting parts of the Pearl Lodge or even owned different apartments themselves specifically to rent out to people who had already paid exorbitant amounts of money for one last-ditch attempt at treatment. And when it didn't work, well, then they could just go there and die. Again, this is just alleged. Now, that's a really important part of this video. We have to make sure we understand what is alleged, what is factual, and what has enough witness statement to be pretty plausible. And that in and of itself, the whole idea of perhaps uh, they just were not having a whole lot of luck and these people are going to die anyway, so they just rip them off a little bit more and put them in an apartment so they can die, that in and of itself would not be enough to condemn Amanda Mary. <laughs> but we've barely scratched the surface. Now, one patient of Mary's was a woman by the name of Anne. Anne, to be blunt, was a badass. Anne, despite having a terminal diagnosis, still took care of her children, she did work with charities, she ran marathons. Now, Anne was a patient at the Bulgarian clinic, the Pearl Lodge, and she survived. She, in fact, made it all the way back home, but as you could probably guess, she wasn't cured. She did, unfortunately, pass away a year later from the cancer that she had gone to the lodge to begin with to get cured. And so it's still very sad, but we're going to touch on her again a little bit further down the road. Now, another patient at the Bulgarian clinic was Freddy. Freddy had liver cancer. Freddy traveled to Bulgaria to go to the lodge and was given a treatment of oxygen therapy, apricot kernels, which when consumed, process into the body and produce cyanide, full torso wraps dipped in cod liver oil, and oddly a drug called artemisinin. And that drug specifically is for treating malaria. So I don't know why they gave it to her. She also received MAF active injections, eight times stronger than GC MAF. Hmm. What's GC MAF? Hold that thought. Now, Freddie did survive the clinic, but... Oddly, uh, Amanda Mary never cured her, uh, even after thousands of dollars and a bunch of bizarre Frankenstein-like experiments. Um, but also, and here's, here's the thing that I really have to point out. Listen to how Amanda Mary speaks about this woman. Um, Joanne talks about is um, Fred. Uh, when she came to me, it was clear that wasn't the case. She couldn't walk and um, she was clearly um, weeks away and um, her hospital records proved that. But I couldn't, we just couldn't put her on a flight home. She wouldn't have made it. So I was stuck with this lady quite unhappily if I, it, at the time. And um, we, we, we helped her. So a brief recap. Amanda Mary was involved with the Genesis 2 cult. So much so that she used their treatments, hung their banner up in her stockroom, and they themselves were promoting her Bulgarian clinic. She and her husband buy properties in this ski resort town, uh, fail at several business enterprises, and ultimately run this bizarre clinic out of an old hotel. This brings us to 2015, when all hell broke loose. On June 20th, Mark Grennan, the archbishop, co-archbishop, the co-creator of the Genesis 2 bleach cult, uh, he was holding what he described as a church meeting, and this meeting was in a mansion that Amanda Mary was renting. Trading services and the police showed up at the house and started trying to talk to people and say, hey, uh, some of these alternative cures, they're pretty dangerous, you should probably be aware of that. And then, a little bit later, for some reason that I still have never gotten a good answer for, uh, they kicked the door in and they came in. It bit by this... this bug, this insect, right? It takes about 15 years to destroy... Let go, let go, let go. Cops. 
Hey, is the church a what preceded then was a questioning of the archbishop and then informing Amanda Mary how basically she could make a claim for damages done to the door. And that was that, right? Nope. You see, over the next few days, the UK press exploded with stories, all talking about Amanda Mary and Doug. At this point, our story drifts away from Miracle Mineral Supplement, the, uh, that the anal bleaching of a weird, bizarre cult, and it drifts into the territory of a different miracle cure, GC Math. I, Amanda Mary Jew, poses more of a threat than any terrorist past or present to all the world's agencies. Terrorist organizations can affect a few thousand. GC Math can affect a few billion. Now the true agenda. It is for every man, woman, and child on this earth We'll be immunized, vaccinated, poison by chemtrails, GMO, metallic poisoning, just to name a few. The only effective counterbalance to this is, guess what? GC Math. This is because GC Math reacts with the very immune defense that the above disabled in the body. This simply explains why we are being treated worse than a terrorist. To the powers that be, we are worse. Now, I'm sure there's probably some people out there who are going to get really irritated. I'm not saying GCMAF. Uh, deal with it. I'm GC math. Just GC math. It's easier. Now, GC math is a protein that's found in the blood of healthy people. And in some cancers, when you get cancers, it produces an enzyme called nagalase. Probably mispronouncing that. But this can specifically block GC math, which stops it from helping the immune system target cancer cells. Or to say it another way, GC math that's in your body can help your immune system see that that's a cancer cell, so we're going to eat it and destroy the cancer. But certain cancers produce a certain enzyme which stops that from happening. So in theory, the idea is you could inject outside GC math in your bloodstream and that would help combat cancers, right? Well, no, it doesn't work that way. It's never worked that way. Under every single legitimate test that people have done so far on GC math, it has shown no appreciable results, none whatsoever. The only time you'll actually find that this is a miracle, here's the study to prove it. Predatory journals, pay for play journals, d discredited people, all abound. Same thing with the anti vax cult, same thing as all these damn quacks. And moreover, it's extracted from human blood and sometimes even bovine blood. Like, here's Doug. Amanda's husband discussing it. They make it from human blood, obviously healthy human blood, but it is a blood product uh, that are also just as good, have also been made from bovine blood. Now, of course, you know, people very often think, my God, you know, bovine blood, that's cow blood or whatever. Now, call me crazy, but a clinic that is described as the five story building was sunk. A terrible smell swung through the slits of the doors and windows. Doesn't it inspire me that that product which is made from blood is up to these sanitary and safe practices, uh, especially for an intravenous injection? Maybe that's just me. But more importantly, Amanda Mary was not the only person who was making and selling GC Math. For instance, there was David Noakes and Jeff Bradstreet. Let's start with David Noakes. In January of the same year that the church meeting got raided, his laboratory also got raided. Now, I could make a whole video on what an absolute mess that whole thing was. But uh, for now, I'm just going to share this video clip of David Noakes talking about GC math. How can anyone have faith in a company that's been raided by a medical regulator and found to be using potentially contaminated products. That's just another lie. 9,000 patients have taken it without side effects, without contamination, and with perfect sterility. Have you been advising patients on dosage well, over five and how years, to inject? Have I probably, yes. It is the right of patients to, I don't not, think I'll get into to not to be exploited in the way that your company seems to be. Now, he got in quite a bit of hot water, and it took a little bit of time, but in 2018, David Noakes was in fact jailed for 15 months for money laundering, manufacturing, supplying, and selling an unlicensed medicine. 
But then there was Jeff Bradstreet. And let me tell you something. If you spend enough time, at least as much as I do, analyzing and interpreting the weird, bizarre world of pseudoscientists and conspiracy theorists, uh, you've probably heard of Jeff Bradstreet, or you're going to hear about him eventually. His story is a bit infamous. Jeff Bradstreet was an American doctor uh, who not only promoted the false idea that vaccines cause autism, uh, he also supported the use of illegal stem cell therapies, chelation, GC math, and even exorcism to treat people on the autism spectrum. Yes, really. A week before Amanda Mary's house was raided, Jeff Bradstreet's business was stormed by the authorities, all there to investigate his illegal use of GC math. And then shortly thereafter, his body was found in a river. Well, what happened? I mean, despite the protests of Big Pharma killed him, the police ruled him a suicide. Well, why, why would he kill himself? That just, that doesn't add up. Of course, it's a conspiracy. He had to have been murdered. No, it was confirmed by the coroner. He shot himself. He killed himself. And why would he do that? Probably because the FDA was seeking to put him in jail for the next 20 years. As you can see, the doors are starting to close in on Amanda Mary and Doug, or really anybody else who was selling these quack cures. And despite her not being in with the, the MMS bleach enemas anymore, she still used it at her clinic, as well as GC Math. In fact, she still promotes GC Math to this day. Now, before we move on to Amanda Mary and her great escape from the UK, fleeing the authorities, because that's exactly what she did, we need to focus on a couple of quick connections and the whole reason why I just did that little blurb there. You see, Amanda Mary was friends with Jeff Bradstreet and they communicated regularly, but also she had a connection to David Noakes. There were former employees of David Noakes and their names are Trevor Banks and Leslie Hutchings. He used to work with him and for some strange reason they stopped and then they hooked up with Amanda Mary. Now, Trevor was in fact creating a website called First Pro Engineering. And this was Amanda Mary and Doug's efforts to sell GC math on a global scale. And the friendship between these four people would dissolve actually rather publicly and pretty hilariously. Uh, about, a, about a year later, um, Trevor would then take the domain First Pro Engineering for himself, uh, later turning it into Cyto Innovations. And then Leslie, his sister, then took off, went to France, and developed GC Math Skin Creams. Uh, oh, and by the way, she got in trouble for that. I was just, I, I had an idea, and I'm not going to go into yeah. what, what I've done because obviously, you know, that's my, and I've lost all the information anyway. Like, you, you've got to define GC Math before I can answer that question because. It's not defined, even scientists can't define it. The, there's no point us coming all this way. No. If you're not going to be up, to be up front with us. But I want to help you. Yeah. But yeah. you need to be honest yeah. with me. Anyway, it's important to note that Trevor Banks still runs Cyto Innovations uh, and it, he still sells GC Math. But despite the fact that you can point at this guy and say, yeah, he's doing something wrong, well, the domain First Pro Engineering, his first website to try and sell this stuff, was originally registered to Doug, Amanda Mary's husband. Now, is any of this important? Well, yes. You need to understand how deep this story really goes, because I gotta be honest with you, it gets worse. And I really, really wish I was kidding. 